Okay, so for the purposes of these videos, I'm not casting on the same number of stitches as required for the actual sky shawl, but just showing you how it's done. So as you can see here, I've now, I still have my four provisional stitches on one piece of scrap yarn. I'm just doing um, 12, no, I decided to do 14 stitches on my second um, I-cord cast on. And you can see I have done all of those, but my final one is still on my needles. So at this point, what we're gonna do is transfer your final stitch to your short piece of scrap yarn here. Um, so that means if you're making the sky shawl, you'll have 38 stitches here on your I-cord cast on. And then I'm going to clip my yarn tail with my incredibly fancy Ikea scissors. Um, and then I have my final tapestry yarn threaded on my second tapestry needle or my final scrap yarn, whatever. Um, and I'm gonna thread it up through my final four stitches on my I-cord like so. So now I have four stitches on this piece of scrap yarn, 14 stitches or whatever, you're gonna have 38 on your short one. And then I have my final one with the four. I'm gonna pull that one through as well. And then I'm gonna take my tapestry needle from my middle section here and thread it to the top of here. So now I have two pieces of scrap yarn on these four stitches and then my stitches in the middle. And I'm gonna take those middle stitches and I am going to put them on, oops, onto my needle. Obviously I just dropped them all off of my needle, um, but I think I can pick them all back up. I recommend just transferring them from your scrap yarn rather than yanking it out like I just did, if you have the option. Okay. So transfer them all to my needle. Here are these last ones. Oh no, those are my four back here. Okay, so now you're gonna have 38 stitches here. I have four, four, right, I have 14. <laughs> um, and now we're gonna continue to do I-cord cast-ons on either side of your original I-cord cast-on. 